What is up, YouTube? <coughs> That's a bit of a sunny morning this morning. Check it out. Here comes the sun. <laughs> oh boy. Today, I got the little fireplace going back there, see? But with all the exposed ribs and the, around the skylights still, don't really have a true representation of how well it's gonna work when the bus is fully insulated. But it puts off a lot of heat. But today, I'm working on the wiring. And uh, I'll show you guys what I did yesterday or catch you up to where I'm at. The biggest part of yesterday was figuring out how these things all went together. How these little connectors hooked on and how to cut this MC cable. And there's a little thingy that goes inside of it before the connector. And then figuring out these mud rings. So when that's all put together, the quarter inch plywood goes over it and comes right up to there. And then the faceplate goes over it. Because at the start of the thing, I got a little confused and I thought, all oh, my outlets are gonna have to look like that. But they don't. So I've got these two circuits into the box. I just I haven't hooked them up. And the same connectors go on here. And they're they're a one-way connector thing, they don't come back out. They got the little springs in there that or little spikes that hold them in place. And then you can see on the inside edge, they got a little protector where the wires come out so they don't. Anyhow, I'm feeling pretty good about it. And uh, so that's the circuit for the microwave. And I think these both have to be GF's ground fault circuits because they're on both sides of the sink. <clears throat> but I don't want to drape a cord across the sink if I have a rice cooker or the Instapot on one side or the other. So today I gotta run another another circuit goes down here to the end of the couch. Down here is to where the end of the couch is. Down here behind the driver's seat. <coughs> and the TV mount goes right there. So I got actually got the mount yesterday and put it on the back of the TV and we held it up there. So you can see those pencil marks. I need to put some blocking down this way. And I need to put some blocking across that way for the uh, TV mount and for the outlet that's gonna be at the end of the couch. And then an outlet up higher for the TV so the cord's not having to hang down from the TV. So it is brisk in here this morning. <laughs> but that's what's happening. I'm gonna get to work on uh, I'm gonna do the blocking first and then pull them other circuits through and see how that goes. The coolest thing is like back there, I had to put holes on the back side of those. I could just take these out, put my holes back there, put them back in. It's super awesome to be able to reverse what you do. And if I use this smaller driver, I don't over, don't go in too far. So one of the things I love about this new miter saw, it's got the light that makes, the, shows you where the blade's going to cut. So I can match that angle. So it's just short of 26 degrees. How awesome is that? Perfect angle cut. There we go, brother. Yeah, it's ready to go. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Oh man, there's nothing sweeter than a warm cup of tea and a fireplace to stand by and get warm. I am digging this bus life and I'm not even in it yet. Oh, life is great. All right, well, 
that's right where the TV bracket goes. Okay, baby, we're gonna pull the line. So this is where we were heading for. So we've got one there, and then we'll go up to the one up top, which is for our TV. Oh, so we can go in this bottom here and go out the top there and come in up there. Using this uh, pre-made cable was a bit of a learning curve. So I bought this rotary tool that was supposed to cut this shielding, and it thing was a joke. So when I took it back to show the guy that it didn't work very well, there was a nice young electrician there, thanks Levi, who said, just take that stuff and break it like that. And then you untwist it like that. And then he liked this Nitex brand of uh, cutter. So I traded the tool that broke that didn't work for this set of side cutters. And you just go and then you cut that like that. And that pops off. You have to do the code thingy, which I looked up on YouTube University. You have to take off, cut off that sharp. And then you strip this. And I'm not an electrician, by the way. Just I'm just showing you guys this is what's working for me. I knew. I just cut that back. Most of the time that tears off down more flush. And then when I bought the cable, it came with a bag of these thingies. And I was like, what the heck are these thingies? Well, I found out they go on here like this. And then they go in there to protect the wire from the sharp edges. And then this guy goes on that. It's a snap-on. There it goes. There. Huh. Of course the one that I decide to film. Anyways, that pushes on. It's a one-way ticket. So. And you can hear it snap when it goes on, huh? Yeah. It clicks in there. And then in the box, This guy out of the way. What is that? You snap it into this box like that. And that's a one way ticket. I just fold those down in there until we put the fixtures in. And we are golden. So, I'm not an electrician, but I'm just showing you this, what I learned from the electrician guys that helped me, <laughs> which I'm very happy in. We're so grateful for all the help we're getting on this, huh? So now I just gotta come out of here and go up to that one, and we'll have a circuit. Well, we gotta hook it into the box. But. Hey, I thought you guys might be interested in this two by four was up there. And I just took the spray foam and I shot up underneath it. So I had to take a knife and cut all this stuff loose. So you can see how easy it is to shoot up underneath a two by four. And we have to take it off so we can um, snake the yeah. wires behind it. Yeah, we're gonna cut out back here so the wires can snake down the wall, so. Yeah. And because we screwed it in place, we can take it out do our business, put it right back where it was, this will just all fall right back in there. Baby, you are so smart. No, I'm just lucky to have all this help. <laughs> okay, so 
Make it through that hole. Okay. Through this hole. And then take it. You gonna go to the fridge? Go, go to the fridge. Hey, so I'm gonna take this board down so I can go through, right? Yeah, just pull it down. Ah, this goes up like that, right? Right. Okay, so it's going through the board. Give me a little bit more. Power. Okay, hold on, hold on. Gotta get the angle right. Okay. That should work. Is that enough for you with the plug-in? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna have oh, to shift. Okay. Kind of channel. Huh? Let's feed the other one through. Right, before, yeah. And it goes to this box. And it goes right? to this box. Before we screw that back up. Wiring. We have the whole front of the bus done. It's so exciting. So I'll give you guys a quick walk through. We put one right there behind my travel box so I can plug in my iPhone and my computer. We have another one down here below our Dickinson propane heater, which we are loving. And then we've got one back here for our cabinet countertop, and then that is the refrigerator. And then over here we have the stove and the microwave and or excuse me it's the microwave and another countertop the stove has got a separate one and one right there and then also up here in this corner is where our tv is going to be mounted so we have plugins for the tv and then also extra plugins um, for the cubby container stand that I want to build right here so um, there'll be access to plug-in computers and iPads if we want to on that side of the bus. So anyway it is coming together and now we pretty much have the back laid out of where we want the plug-ins at so now we just have to run the wire and everything so it's coming along people. All right so we already had the front we showed you the front of it we've got the back end pretty well roughed in and uh, we got two plug-ins up at the top of the headboard that will be up there. Yeah, so that's going to be nice. Yeah, so we can plug in all of our devices up there. And then, and got one over here. And that one for the bathroom vanity. And there's our electrical box with all the wires coming in. So the only other one, there's two other ones that we're probably going to add. And the one goes down to the mini split, and the other one goes to have an outside outlet. But we can add those later. So. so that's it for pulling wire for our electrical. We're going to get the electrician to come and help us with the hookups and to double check everything to make sure we're safe. So it's a done deal. This is a wrap. So we're going to call it a day and just know that we love sharing the journey with all of you and um so appreciate your support and all of your comments keep them coming and um we'll just catch you in the next one love to all of you bye